On the ground to third. Takes his time and he throws it over the head of the first baseman. Edward Julian had an opportunity to tag out. Elijah McNamee, he was running right into him, and he opted instead to throw the ball to first, and he threw it over the head of Woley, and we are tied. But I, I don't mind that he didn't try to tag McNamee. That's fine. But this is the problem. Watch how many steps he takes after he makes a play. One, two, three, shuffle. That's not what he practices. That's not... Gilbert off the glove, and it gets away, and Mississippi State has rallied. They score four in the bottom of the ninth, and shock Auburn. They win it 5-4. On a ground ball to short, and Jack Caglione looms behind him. This is Hammer. Left field, and we are tied! <laughs> wow! Plate McGee on the mound. Crushed to dead center field. Holt. It's gone. Grand slam. Holy cow, what a shot. the bat, didn't he? And that baby was out of here by a mile. Mm -hmm. Right field, Langworthy, deep. Austin Langworthy had not homered in this park all season until yesterday. Oh, off of Green Hill, Woo. right field and gone. Then he got him again, and Stephen Williams thought he had it. Off of his glove. Pitch. Swing. Driven. Deep left field. And the Tigers have won the ball game. It's a walk-off winner for the freshman Connor Davis. Tigers win in unbelievable fashion. Oh my goodness, Connor Davis, the hero on Sunday. He comes home and he's mobbed at home plate. And the Tigers have taken the series in dramatic fashion. For the third straight time. All swung on, fly ball, right field. They lift it over the plate, all the way to the wall. It's gone! You've got to be kidding me! Three run homer for Austin Anderson on a pitch that was supposed to be up and away for ball one on an intentional walk. Wow. I've seen it all. I have now <laughs> seen it all. Are you kidding me? That was an intentional walk. <laughs> Austin had made almost done it before. He was ready that uh, time. Uh, uh, uh. The Rebels with a walk-off three-run homer out of Austin Anderson on a pitch that was supposed to be ball one away. Maybe playable. Shaddy's over there, so's Gates. Tough play. Nobody gets it. Wow. 
An extra life for Caden Grenier. Three guys had a chance at it. Cole, Shaddy, and Gates. Watch Carson Shaddy. He's coming in hard. He wants it. Overruns it. Wants it way too much. As soon as he... 36th pitch. couldn't catch leads us to this what a performance by Caden Grenier third hit of the night top 36 pitches so far tonight 35 of them have been heaters Larnick's 18 homers leads the team gets one to hit drives it to right this one is deep this one is gone Trevor Larnick's 19th, and Oregon State roars to the top here in the ninth. They now lead it 5-3. What a comeback. They were down to their last strike, and Larnick lights up the Beavers' dugout. Fastball misses location. Prone indefinitely fatigued. We see it in velocity, and now we're seeing it in location. And what a swing. The first rounder again coming through big time. Leading off next inning if Kennedy has got him out here. Kennedy drives it to center. Pena is back, and it's over his head. On one around third. Texas walks it off. So many things went wrong for South Florida right there. With the runner at first base, you have to play no doubles. You can allow, allow any ball to get hit over the outfield. Right. He steals the bag. Wow. He steals home. Hurt Wilson while Nixon was on the mound looking down has stolen home to win the ball game. Nixon never looked up and never even delivered the ball to Ardwan at home plate. How about that? By Kurt Wilson. Well, Nixon. 2 0 pitch. Jordan on the ground. Left side. Past the dive of Leje. Larry scores. Led better right behind him. And the dogs walk it off. Give in here. But you can force in a run with a walk. Here comes a 3 2 pitch. And a high drive. Deep to left. Back goes Lake at the fence. And Texas AM miraculously has come all the way back and beaten West Virginia 11 to 10. station for the Mountaineers up a bunch early till the seventh inning A&M making some noise that, that, that I am so drained right now I felt like I played the entire nine innings oh my goodness that was that 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 storybook this is unbelievable a four hours seven minute game Brannigan touches this one deep left field. Notre Dame has done it again. And the Irish take the lead.
to third. Brannigan goes to second for one. Miller to first, and Notre Dame with the upset of the year in college baseball. The Fighting Irish are returning to Omaha. right in his wheelhouse and Beloso big time home run to put the Tigers on top a belly bomb and a no doubter and the Tigers lead it 4-3 Berkey, that ball was on a tee. <laughs> Just enjoyed a moment, Kate Beloso, and belly ball <laughs> for the Tiger Slugger, and he went into his pen. Little tapper. And they throw it away! The winning run will score on a throwing error! Holy cow! Kodiak Quick fielded the ball in plenty of time and threw. And Brian Hall in the collision at first with Davis, and the ball sailed down the right field line. What a way to end such a beautifully played game on a play like that. Wow. Let's hope Brian Hall is okay and back and ready to go tomorrow. Now Gibson, the right-hander, pinch hitting. Towards second. Steed. Oh. Poor fundamental defense did it again. A routine ground ball to second base, and Steed threw it wildly. Holy cow. Well, it just rips my heart out to see a play like that come down in such a great game. You know, he's got he's trying to hit the first baseman a little bit on the move. He just pulled this ball and just made a bad throw. It's you, you hate to see a game like this come down to a bad throw, but that's that's what happens in baseball sometimes. And you know, one of the reasons he wasn't playing is they wanted to to have the defense. To a breaking ball. Yeah, and the freshman catcher Bowen's got to be ready. Oh two. On the ground, left side, top play in the hole. Silva gets rid of it to first. Not in time. Florida leads. Boy, I thought he was going to be able to finish this one off. He got to it in plenty of time. Curlin's not a burner. Against the Pac-12 Pitcher of the Year, Brendan Beck. for Brendan Beck and Stanford. And the Commodores get two in the bottom of the ninth to win.